Hey guys, so I wanted to demonstrate our number one selling, the product that started it all, our 3D Fiber Mascara. And believe it or not, not everybody's heard of this product and um, I'm glad that I'm introducing it to those who have not because it's really changed my life. It's actually what catapulted me to join Unique because I fell in love with this product so much. So what it is, um, it's a different type of product than your normal mascara. It comes in two tubes. Let me show you here. So two tubes, it comes one bigger tube, one smaller tube. Um, one is a gel, it applies like a mascara, and the other one is fibers, which are made out of plant extract. This product here is completely natural. There's nothing synthetic, there's no chemicals in it. Um, it's completely safe for your eyes. If you wear contact lenses, you have dry eye issues, allergy problems, you will not have issues wearing these um, or this uh, product here. Um, I have very dry eyes. I have eye allergies. I deal with seasonal problems with my eyes quite a bit. I do not have issues, and this is probably the only mascara that I've ever worn that I don't have issues wearing. So let me just show you um, how it works. I'm already wearing it on this eye here, so I'm gonna demonstrate on this eye so you can just get an idea of how it works. Um, there are a lot of people that have heard of it but never tried it before, and they're curious to see how it works, so I wanted to share that with you. All right, so just to give you an idea here, as you can see, it's just a normal mascara wand with gel on it, and that's what you would do. That's your first step. There's a step process to it. The second is these little fibers, as you can see here. See how they're real fluffy? It's just plant extract. A little tip, what I like to do before I start using my tubes is I like to warm them up. And there's a couple ways you can warm them up. You can put in a cup of water and warm them up that way, but that's just, that's just too much work, to be honest with you. So as I'm getting ready, my last step in getting ready is um, I will use my mascara as my last step when I finish all my makeup. So what I do is when I first start my process of getting ready, I stick my tubes in my bra and I actually have some already warmed up. I'm kind of like a chef on like a cooking show and we're like, okay, open the oven. We already have one done. So I've already got one cooked here. So I have my tubes here and I'm just going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate on my right eye here. Okay. So I'm going to be probably going between the camera and I have a mirror behind me, behind the camera. It just makes it easier because it's hard to pay attention to application when you're using a camera as your mirror. So I'm just coating my lashes nice and evenly. And I do make a mess here I got up there. That's okay. This stuff cleans off very, very easily. Um, and I like to do the back of my lashes too, the front and back. But this product is great because it's water resistant. It's not waterproof. So it's very easy for it to come off, like when you go to wash it off with soap um, or makeup wipes, it comes off very easily at the end of the day, but it lasts a long time. I went swimming with it on over the summertime, um, and as long as I didn't wipe my eyes when I came out of the water, like if I just came out of the water and just left my eyes alone, didn't touch them, it stayed in place. It did not come off. And a lot of times I will just wear the gel by itself um, because this product right here is very healthy for your lashes. It's filled with vitamin E, vitamin A, and it's got CoQ10 in it. So you are getting a treatment, a conditioning treatment to your lashes when you're wearing this. So even if you're not using the fibers, it's still a great just by itself mascara. So as you can see there, I've got good coverage with it, but we're going to add some wow factor to it, okay? You ready? So we're going to take our fibers, and you want to do this quickly, and you work one eye at a time. Um, so the fibers are a little fluffy. What I like to do is roll them on the back of my wrist or my hand, just so I can get them more wound, as they're less likely to become um, clumpy. And then you just touch your lashes, and so I'm just touching my lashes. I'm going to go against the back of my lashes here. And sometimes you'll get some that fall out and that's okay. You just use a fluffy brush just to wipe them away. And you can layer this look too. You can do more than one coat if you like. All right, so I feel like I got a good healthy amount there. So look at that, what do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush here and just dust off some of those fibers that fell off. And then 
So your normal process, you do one eye and then you go to the other eye, but I already did this eye first. I've already completely done this eye. Um, so I like to give it a second just to set. I'm kind of touching a little bit. What you want to do is you want to let those fibers adhere to that gel and start to dry a little bit before you do your final um, step, which is one more coat of the gel. The purpose of doing one more coat of the gel is so that it seals in those fibers. If you do not do this last step, um, throughout your day, your fibers may start falling underneath your cheeks because you're constantly blinking. There's constant movement of your lashes, and so it can start to distribute some of the fibers underneath. If you seal them in well enough, you will not have any fibers fall off onto your cheeks, and it'll last you all day, and it'll stay put really, really well, and I work out in it all the time as well. So I like to give it a moment just so it sits. You can also use a hair dryer on your lashes. You just hold the nozzle down and let the air blow up, and that'll actually help curl your lashes. Okay, so it's probably been long enough. I'm just gonna tap it. I wanna get those fibers on there really well. And another tip for doing that as well is if you go and try to brush them when the fibers aren't adhered well enough, they're gonna come off onto your wand and then you'll put them back in here and it could start to dry out your tube. And also you're losing your fibers on your lashes. So I'm doing a very, very, very light handed just sweeping. I'm barely touching my lashes, just enough just to seal it in. You don't have to go real crazy with this. And if you wanted to do an extra coat afterwards, you can. And what you would just do is that final coat, or the next set of fibers, you would just want to concentrate just on the tips there, just to make, make them a little bit longer. So, Pretty good, huh? And I got a little messy back here, but that's okay. That should come right off. So that is a demonstration of the 3D Fiber Mascara. I absolutely love it. I do not have really good lashes to begin with, and it's nice just to give a little bit more pop to my eyes with this product here. So I wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment, comment below. And thanks for watching. Bye.